Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. Garage right there, that's the, it's kind of sealed off at the back and then we can just come up here. We have the Erlengrat Chocolatier right here. And I will just say that the chocolate they make is absolutely delicious. Giant sent me a care package and I did post a picture on to um, Twitter and another post uh, one on my Instagram um, it's basically a they had a chocolate from Erlengrat um, there was marshmallows from Elm Creek olive oil from Ho Bailaron uh, there's a I'm just looking at it right here a minute there's a there's a farming simulator cap there was a farming simulator mug the um, special the collector's edition discs it was a really cool package the chocolate actually had this on it it had that on there um lickety chocolatier is it i mean i actually had that on th that was on the packaging which was really really awesome i thought that was amazing it actually had that on the packaging this chocolate that they made that they make right in here is so it's so delicious it really is it's absolutely delicious now if you come over to these right here Buy the Lickety Chocolatier for 50000 No, I'm not going to buy it at the moment, but making chocolate is definitely something I want to be a part of. I, I've been involved in eating the chocolate, so I would like to be a part of making the chocolate. But you can go to factories here and bakery. Bakery makes chocolate. No, no, the bakery takes chocolate in. Uh, carpentry, dairy... Dairy is the one that makes chocolate. So we can go and buy these items right here. You get sugar and you get milk. And then we can produce cheese, chocolate, and... Well, I don't know what that one is. I don't actually know what the list. Let's find out. Uh, we find out here. We go to that one. Butter. It's butter. So we have butter right there that we can sell for like 800 a time. The cheese we can sell for 1,700 a time in the supermarket. I mean, if you go here, this is the price fluctuations, which aren't necessarily accurate at the moment. Sugar. In order to get sugar, you've got to be able to process it first. So that's where our sugar beet will come in. And then we got chocolate over here that you can sell it in the supermarket. So this is something that I really love. In order to be able to make the sugar... Right here, in order to be able to make that, we need to be able to process the sugar beet that we get. So the sugar beet will come in, and then we process that, and we can get the sugar from it, and then we take the sugar and the milk that we produce from our cows, and we can take that to the chocolatier, and they will produce the chocolate. And then we can go and sell the chocolate in the supermarket. And you can also go and take the chocolate to the bakery and that along with other ingredients then becomes cake and you can sell that in the supermarket so you really have you got you can have some long and complicated processing lines if that's what you want and i love that i think that is absolutely amazing i really do i really genuinely love that so anyway i have 100,000 euros left i haven't gone and accidentally bought something have i i don't think i have 103,000 euros. I want to do some mowing. This is what we want to do. We said that we want to do some mowing. We want to try and save 26,000 for... Or 27,000 for the sheep pen. We're also going to want to be able to buy some sheep as well. I don't know how much they are. Probably about 1,500 apiece. So we're looking at 30... Call it 40,000, maybe 50,000 that we want to save. So we've got 50 grand. We've got 50,000 that we could do something with. Now, because the time we buy some mowers, we're not going to have a lot left over, are we? Because the land that we're on is no longer classed as an actual field, it does mean that we're going to have to be a little bit more careful. And we're also going to have to do all the work ourselves. So, I mean, I could go and buy these two right here, but there's 30,000 euros already taken out. Which is a lot of money. We could collect up the hay as loose hay right here. It's 30 grand right there. But then the only way to store that is if I go into silos and I go there. That one is 63,000 for the hayloft. It's a lot of money. Which means we can't really do that either. 
That's not an option for us. Uh, I'm going to come out of there. Yeah, I don't want to be in this bit. I want to be in this bit. So I'm, getting, I'm confusing myself now. The cheapest bailer option that we've got. See, we, they're all expensive. Except for that one. That's kind of cheap. So we've 22,000. We, we're going to have to do small bales to start with. We've literally got no choice in the matter. Unless we get lucky and we find a baler in here. But we don't want to assume that we can find one in here. At the moment, we'll say no. And we do want to get a head start on this because we want to be able to get the grass cut. So we've got to buy this one. We'll deal with license. Actually, I can do that quickly. I'm going to put the license plate, the same one, on every single one. I will buy that one there for 22000 Right. I can pick the bales up from this one by hand, at least to start with. So we don't have to go and get anything extra for that bit. We need to have a tedder and we need to have a windrower. Those two are needed in this. So this one here is a small one. He's seven grand. That one is quite a bit bigger. He's an 8.7 and this is a 4.4. .4, so it's double, but it's also nearly double the price. It's more than double the price. So it's not worth it. We're going to go with this little tiny one right here. We'll buy that for 7,000. Okay, back, back again. And we've got wind rowers over here. We've got these little tiny ones. See, that one there is only three meters. It goes on the front of the tractor. This one here is two and a half meters, five grand, 5,900. And that one there is 4.7 meters wide, and it's 8,000. It's quite a difference in size on it. These go up, and they're quite a bit more expensive. That one does look very cool. But, yeah, they're, way, they're out of our price range. We could consider going as high as that one. We could definitely consider going to that one. Because then we get bigger wind rows, which means that the bailing will be a little bit faster. I think that's something that we should do. So let's go to have a look at this one. That one right there. I think this is, I think this is the one that we want, because... Whilst this one is good, we did use... This is the one that we used previously. We did have this one for a while. And it is a good machine, but it's it's quite a bit narrower. So I, I do think we'd be better off using this one. So we get that one. And that just leaves a mower. We do have this option. 14,000 for that mower there. It only does two meters wide, though. But I mean... How tempting is it to go and get that one right now? Yeah, it's going to be slow. It does 9k. But, I mean, why not? We we, we could... We, I really want to try that, actually. 14,000. The mower... I tell you what... I mean, that one is 2.4 meters. This is 3 meters wide. Uh, got the side, this, the trailed one there that's 4 meters wide. It's 20,000. That's really eating down into what we wanted to save in order to be able to get our sheep. Uh, 18,000 is a little bit more like it. That self propelled. I... <laughs> I'm really, really tempted to go for this. Despite the fact that this is so much faster and genuinely an altogether better mower. You know what? Let's do it. When are, when else are we going to use it? Let's let's go for it. We can always find a couple pieces of cheese if we want to change things up a little bit. So we're going we're gonna to do this one. We're, we're going to buy this one right here. So a wheel set up. Standard. I think... Sta oh, so it goes with wide tires with the trail bogs. <laughs> Spiked rollers. Yes. I don't think this comes with extra attachments, though, unfortunately. I think this is, there is only one attachment for this one. Despite the fact that in real life, these things have all kinds of different attachments. Um, wide spikes. That's so awesome. That is genuinely brilliant. Fearsome. You don't really want to take it out on the road, though, do you? Let's just go with those there because this does cost a little bit of extra money. So we'll just go. We'll go with these. We'll go with just a standard for fourteen thousand, right? 
So we've got everything that we need. We have got everything that we need. We've got a baler. We've got a hay turner. We've got something for rowing it up. And we've got the mower itself. 25 litres of diesel. Start the engine first. Right. I'm looking around on this one. If I press... Ah, there we go. That's... that's... Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! Uh, why is it going so slow like that? It lifts it up, puts it down. Ah, there you go. Oh! Because I have where I don't sort of um, put my steering wheel on full throttle, unless I've got the cruise control going... You've either got full throttle or you've got nothing. So you've got walking pace right here. But I love the fact that he's properly walking along. <laughs> is this, this is brilliant. All right. So we're going to be mowing our grass with this this right here. This, 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 is, this is fantastic. We've, we've got to get this one all the way up to the top now. Now we can... Will this one work with the hired help? Will we will we be able to do this with the hired help? Let's, let's have a look. This, this, this is gonna this is gonna be so cool. It's gonna take him forever to walk up there. <laughs> oh, this is amazing! I love this game. Uh, yeah. Wait, what? No! No, no, no! Don't do that to me. Set destination. Ah, oh, I can't have the I. I've got to take this. <laughs> I've got to do this myself. I've got to push this one up the hill all by myself. This, this, this is going to take a while. I'm, I'm, I'm seriously regretting my choice now. What have I done with my life that I've come to this? Why? Why Why would I do this to myself? Hey, seriously, this, this, this is going to take a while. I've just noticed my dude here has a nasty scar across the side of his head right there. That's from a a, 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 a a bit of a fight that we got into while we were in Monaco. We, we won't go into those details. I have arrived at the decision that when the time comes to sell this glorious little mower that we've got right here, I'm not going to wheel it all the way back to the shop again. I'm just going to have someone come and collect it. It does mean that we won't get quite as much money for it, but frankly... I don't care. Now we have the test. We've I've, I've finally gotten out of the town. It's taken me a little while. And I've got the time scale on 0 0.5 times speed. And I thought, yeah, I'll just leave it like that. That's fine. Am I going to be able to get up this hill? I'm not actually pushing it, by the way. Just for anybody that is wondering. No, this, this does pull itself along. Um, we, we, we're definitely not having to push this thing up the hill. I mean, maybe we can lean into it a little bit and give it a little bit of assistance on the steep ground, but no, you, you don't need to be doing that. That's, um, that's that's not something that you would need to do. we still got to walk along behind it, though, and you do generally, with these types of things, have to go... You have to walk at a fair pace, because they once they get going, they, they do kind of, like, walk themselves along at, at a fair pace, and you've got to keep up with them. So... It can be a little bit tiring <laughs> trying to run along, trot along uh, uh, behind these things. Uh, especially if you're working it in the field as well. You do get used to it after a bit, but yeah. Um, it, it can take a little while. So we're almost at our destination now. There is the fence line of home. And that reminds me. We went and put up that fence line. And I get the money refunded for that. So despite the fact that at the moment it says that we got 52,000, we do actually have uh, 30, close to 40,000 euros that we still have. So we wouldn't have had any problem buying a mower in order to be able to do everything that we wanted to do. And yeah, we didn't have to. I'm, I don't regret this for one moment. I Not one second do I regret this because... This is 
this machine is designed for this countryside. I'm thinking that we should have had the spiked wheels, but I mean, if we had that, we, we wouldn't have been allowed to drive it on the road. We would have had to have it, um, it's got to go on a trailer. If you've got those spiked wheels on it, you're not allowed to drive it on the tarmac roads. You, you do, uh, you've either got to put rubber lugs on it to drive it on the roads, or you've got to load it onto a trailer and move it like that. I have finally managed to struggle all the way up this hill. And with the speed that this machine goes, having to do a flat out run up that hill, I'm tired. I'm very, very tired. But we have got this area of grass. So if we're going to put our sheep in here, I think we want to try and put the sheep in as close to these trees up here as possible so that we can, if we just take a look at that a second and see whether or not it does actually look like it will be able to go at animals. Where are we? We want sheep and we want that sheep pen right there. So this would be roughly where they would be. And then we need to be able to have access to the bit at the front. So, I mean, yeah, it's saying 27,000. So there is some leveling that it's got to do. But I reckon that we could probably level that bit out ourselves and do a little bit of work on there. And then we're not kind of interfering too much. So if we aim at the moment to go and cut a patch of grass around here, that's going to free up the bit of space for the sheep. So let's bring this one over to this side and... No, I'm busy pushing through all of this grass and cut it all down. Right, start this bad boy up. Let's see what it does. And there we go. And I love that it cuts the weeds as well. It does properly cut the weeds. It's brilliant. It's actually cutting properly. We're going to have this done in no time. We, we could do the entire meadow with this thing. We'd, we'd, we'd whip through this in no time. <laughs> this would take us like a month to do it if we did everything. Seriously, this, this would take way too long. I'm, I'm tempted to like go up around the trees a little bit. But we've got to remember that we've only got our big voucher for doing the hay turning and the rest of it. So we kind of need to make sure that we don't have too small an area for that one to be able to turn around in. We'll, we'll do a small section to start with. And then we can turn that and we can row it up and we can bale it. And then we can see if we need to do more and where it is that we actually want to do the extra bit. So we'll just do this little slice right here. And then, if we really want to, we could always go and sell this mower after that. Because, I mean, uh, uh, we, we do a small bit. We've tested the mower. We've tried it out. We can say that we've done it. And then we don't actually need to keep this one going forever. We can use, you know, a, a slightly more bigger, better... It doesn't have to be better. Just a, a, a slightly, slightly more bigger. That's, that's all we need. Just something to be able to do this job in little bit less time maybe I don't know I'd, I could get used to this just imagine what this would be like in real life if you were actually doing this like you, you are having to wrestle with the machine a little bit to like drag it round the corners and that although it, I think it does sort of partly do it for you um you you've got you right up in the mountain so it's not really stupidly hot um You'd have a probably a, a fairly refreshing breeze blowing in across. I mean, it's, it's going to be nice warm weather up in the Alpine summer. Um, you, you do have this, this cool breeze coming through. You've got the smell of the cut grass right there. This machine isn't stupidly loud either, at least not the ones that I've seen. Well, the newer ones, at least. The old ones, they, they, they sound like the apocalypse is actually coming in. But that's besides the point. Um, it's... It's not an entirely unpleasant job. Yes, it's quite tiring to have to go around and do this. Don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm not suggesting that you're not going to get worn out by doing this. But also, it's not that bad, is it? Really? You think about this, you, you, you're sort of just wandering around doing this. It's not that bad. There's far, far worse things you could be doing on this glorious summer day. Look at it. I'm actually really starting to like this. Not enough that I want to do the entire meadow with this thing, admittedly. And I suspect that the, the charm would wear thin quite a bit if you'd spent eight hours using this one and you still had another five days of mowing to go. 
you might want to consider something a little bit more robust, a little bit more substantial. It's going to be able to handle things a little bit better. We'll go back and get those bits that we've missed. Don't worry. I'm not leaving them behind. We will cut everything. Every little bit. And I missed another bit over there. Well, I kind of want to bring this one around over here. My shades are perfect for this. Look at this. Bring him over this way. Like that. In the sunlight, there we go. You're supposed to be posing in the sunlight. You're not you're not very good at this whole posing thing. I can't like get a decent screenshot of you doing this if if you're not posing properly. Need to get a screenshot. I I, I you know, I I I could probably take a, a shot of me doing the, the um the, the walk up here, but I I kind of figured maybe, you know, actually doing the mowing that could look quite cool let's bring you around that way what about that all right i reckon i've got what i need i reckon i got what i need so now all we need to do is actually finish this field field it's a bit of an extravagant term this tiny little patch but we will be able to put our sheep pen in here afterwards and we'll be able to buy some sheep uh, we've got pallet forks. We can already go and move the wool around once we've got that. And well, we we're gonna need to. We'll go and buy a mower. We will actually go and buy a bigger mower. I think we're gonna need. To, we, we will take this one back because this is just gonna take too long. And also, you can't use the hired help on this one. And I do like to use the hired help because um, yeah, this is this would just take forever and a year. Um, Hired help in this version of the game, hired help in FS22, does cost quite a bit more. You've actually got to pay them fair wages, which is a good thing, but it also means that you can run out of money a lot more easily. Now, the other thing as well to note is that if you get to zero euros, you can't use the hired help anymore. If you run out of money, if you get to zero, no more hired help. That's it. You have to then get yourself back into positive money. So I'm going to have to watch out for that. Things like plowing up a new field here. That, that yeah, that, that's fine. We'll deal with that. Um, but things like, you know, working that field once we've got it and um, actually trying to use the hired help for it. The only way that's happening is if we've actually got money in the bank. And they do expect to be paid. These days, apparently, workers want fair wages. That they don't work for next to nothing. Which, quite frankly, is going to make... For, for entrepreneurs such as myself, this is going to make life a little bit more difficult. Now, I'm not entirely sure that I want that. But we'll see. This, this could be an interesting little exercise in... Um, the flaws of capitalism. You know, having to pay your wages. You know, what happened to the good old days of just having a, a, a chorus line of slaves? And we, we, we could do it like that. You know, if, if we're, we're up in Switzerland, in the Alps. If we just did a raid down into the... Um, the down into... We'll, we'll do a raid down into France. And um, we'll, we'll gather up ourselves a, a few of the, the French villagers down there. And we'll bring them up here and we'll have them work in our fields for us. I I, th I think that'd be all right, wouldn't it? What what do you think? Is 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 that a little bit too unethical? Probably it is. We could offer to pay them. We we give them a meal a day. How's that? A meal a day, and we'll even give them somewhere to sleep during the winter. I mean, during the summer they'll be busy, so they they won't want to be doing too much sleeping because uh, they, they'll need to be working. But during the winter when it's snowing, we'll we'll give them a shed to sleep in. So I think I think that they should be grateful for that opportunity to become a. <laughs> for the opportunity to become one of Frithgar's slaves. Yeah, I, I'm not sure that this is really going to take off, is it? I, I don't think that this is going to work very well. So may, maybe we maybe we better not do that. Maybe raiding France. <laughs> raiding French villages in order to get a supply of slaves is, is a little bit outdated these days. Maybe I need to update and modernise my thinking and actually, you know, try to have my farm pay... Up to, in, profitable enough that I'm able to pay wages rather than needing to go on slave raids to France. This 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 could be the way forward. 
We'll try that approach first. If that doesn't work, then we'll move back to the plan of um, getting swords and armor and a few war horses and carriages for the slaves and so on. And um, we'll, we'll set off on a raiding party. But we'll, we'll aim for trying to make some money first. We'll see it. We'll, we'll do it. Th we'll do it this way. We'll, we'll try the modern approach first. I just about finished this job. Not very much left, and then we've got to get our track. Oh, I tell you what. While this one is just, let me just stop that one because I don't want to run out of fuel. Uh, while that one is doing its thing up there, you know what? Let me just do this. Oops. You've actually got to switch the tractor off. Remember now, you, you do actually have to switch the tractor off. Right. Uh, we're going to want the hay turner first. So I'm going to put the hay turner on like that. And I would say I should have left the loader arm behind. But if I pick that one up, I'm wondering if the hired help will actually allow me to drive with that on there. So let's see if I can set a destination with that on there like that. Might it, it might do it. I mean, we can set the destination. It's letting us do that bit. But whether or not it's actually going to like the destination. Target is unreachable. Yeah, I thought it might be. Let's try... He will do it on the road down there. It just doesn't like the idea of going up on the road. Now, is he actually going to move? Not by an object. No, it's because of the stuff that we've got on the front. So I'll drive this one up myself then. I'll bring this one up myself. I suspect it's the stuff that we've got on the front. I can always send it back again later. And I suspect that that will actually work. But for now, for at least for this one, he doesn't like. He doesn't, I'm I'm guessing it's because of the unusual configuration of machinery. It just this it just doesn't compute well with that. It's not. It's, we haven't got very far to go though. That's the great thing about where we've selected to do our farming this time around. Like the last place, it is quite close to the dealership. We don't have very far to go in order to be able to reach our land. It's a little bit further than we had previously. But it's not so far that it's going to cause us any major issues. So we come out of here and we turn to the right. And then we got to go up the steep hill. This is the bit that does slow us down. <laughs> but it sounds so cool. If I go into cab, I notice that I do get a lot more lag when I'm trying to do anything from in cab. So I'm going to avoid that, even though I'd like to see the sounds of it. Um, it does tend to cause some serious lag issues at the moment. Hoping that's something that will be fixed. A little bit of optimization needed, maybe. And... On we go here. So I don't know why it, it, it's saying that that's unreachable up there. Because, like, quite literally, I'm, I'm... Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.